And up north, the farther north you live, so northeast Kansas, northwestern Missouri, we've seen between a slush to some freezing rain reports along with some snow. And obviously where we saw Greg Payne earlier in the along I-29 up there, where there has been some accumulating snowfall. Right now, we've been just dealing with a little bit of light rain, some mist and drizzle, and temperatures that are above freezing. They've been hovering between 34 and 35 degrees for several hours, at least here closer to Kansas City. And other than that, it's just kind of a foggy view from most of our border home improvement city cams. Our satellite and radar picture over the last three hours, we've been watching this system continuously push through the area. The main center of circulation is just to our south, just slightly. And now we're going to be dealing with the back edge of the system as we get through this evening, which means some of that moisture is going to wrap around it. And that's when we're going to see that second wave of maybe a couple of snow showers, maybe some freezing drizzle, a little bit of drizzle in some parts of the metro as well. So we'll be tracking that for you. And then a second storm system that's impacting the southwest. That one is also headed our way. It'll be knocking on our doorstep by Tuesday or tomorrow, I should say. Live power Doppler showing you some broken bands of snow moving through the northeastern corner of Kansas from Hiawatha just down towards Atchison, just here north there. And along I-29 where you can see to closer towards St. Joseph, there may be a little lull in the precipitation there. But again, there's still a second round possible as we head through tonight. Live power Doppler closer to the metro. Where it doesn't look like a whole much, a whole lot is happening, I still think there's some parts of uh, the metro that are dealing with some very light drizzle or some sprinkles. And uh, for the case down south, even here, there may be some sprinkles between Olathe, Harrisonville, and maybe perhaps near Warrensburg. Sedalia should be drying out, though, at this point. Forecast track as we go through the next several hours this evening. Here's where I'm talking that wraparound moisture will enter into a good portion of the metro. There's still the potential we get a couple of snowflakes here between 8 and 9 p.m., maybe as as late as 10 as they reach the eastern edge of the metro and then this quickly lifts to the north and east as we head through early tomorrow morning. This is six o'clock and the radar may be completely dry at that point with the exception of maybe a couple of flurries that may be too light for the radar to pick up on. But you notice the temperatures, they'll be down in the 20s. If they get this cold and we get a little freezing drizzle overnight, then there could be some isolated slick spots out there. So while there may not be anything falling from the sky, you'll still have to be very cautious as you head out the door in the morning. And unfortunately, I don't have any better news for the afternoon. While it will be cloudy and a little gloomy, the temperatures are going to struggle to warm up near freezing. Now here's that second storm system. It's going to move through late Tuesday. Timestamp here showing 9 p.m. This is going to be a brief snow shower that pushes through and it continues to expand to the farther north you live as temperatures should still be below freezing. So it should all be snow as the system gets here. The only difference with this system is going to be a little weaker and the moisture it will be a little bit lower. So uh, snow totals aren't going to be significant with the system. We may see upwards of possibly an inch on some spots here in the metro, but I'm not expecting this much as this model is predicting. I think it's a little too aggressive with that snow. All right, here's Security Bank seven day forecast. Expect a cold middle part of the week with temperatures dropping to the teens, possibly Wednesday morning and again on Thursday. And then it looks like our next best chance for some precipitation will be by Saturday, but it's going to be mainly rain as temperatures should eventually be warming up into the 50s. And we may get a couple of rumbles of thunder. There may be just the tiniest bit of instability, but no severe weather expected this weekend. Carolyn? Okay. Well, that at least is.